move along to Mike now because I know he's going to sort of cover a couple of things. He he's probably got something to say about the results of Deutsche Bank and uh, and the creation of money as well. So, Mike, good evening. Good evening to you. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, interesting. The the losses that have been uh, announced recently are quite substantial in the banking world. We've noticed a significant downturn in the banking profitability. And I'll touch on that in a little while, if I may. I just wanted to start off with the uh, fintech innovation that the banks are picking up on. And the top five uh, digital banking ideas are, uh, if I can, I'll just go through them with you. Peer-to-peer -peer payment solutions, meaning total fi uh, financial independence, i.e. using independent sources to transfer money from one person to another. Second, is there's a, a, a system using the peer-to-peer -peer payment solution to arrange lending, and that's quite that's number two in the list. Keeping tabs on your spending, a very useful idea that's come from the banks, probably the best idea that's come in a long while. And a pocket stock market advisor, very useful if you're into the stocks and shares. And lastly, uh, an app that's a substitute to all the banks, and these are the new digital banks that have taken over quite uh, quickly in the UK in particular, but around the rest of the world as well. These are banks that don't actually have premises, don't have tellers, but use their office and uh, electronic transfer of cash. Very useful indeed. Um, the Independent brought out a piece today talking about New York Surge ahead of the London as the world's top financial hub. Nothing to do with Britain leaving Europe, it's just that the Americans have placed a, a tremendous emphasis on uh, supporting the stocks and shares within companies and using all their different exchange tools to maintain that financial hub position. We do think that about 900 billion in assets has been moved from the UK to the EU. And where have we got this from? Again, the independent is saying that because of the change and people moving and keeping the European link, a lot of organisations have moved. In fact, Dublin is probably the biggest beneficiary with over 100 locations. Um, Luxembourg took 60 locations. Paris 41 and Frankfurt 40, which has, has actually created a loss of jobs when they've moved from the UK to, uh, to the EU. About 5,000 jobs have moved already, and more I'm sure will go in the future. Investment banks have uh, shifted around 800 billion uh, of assets, and they've moved. 65 billion and the insurers have moved uh, 35 billion so it's likely that a significant amount, significant amount will move again in the not too distant future um, anything else would, oh yes last week we had a, an announcement in the uk the bank of england watchdogs looked at the pound jump it actually moved before the announcement so the city watchdogs are, are investigating this because it looks like there's been a leak. In the uh, Bank of England, the day before the announcement to the world, there's a meeting and they decide on what they're going to do and something's leaked from that meeting. It's normally a very secure environment, but it meant the pound surged against the US dollar. Well, a surge, you can call it that, but it did. And it happened before the announcement. So the Financial Conduct Authority is investigating this with the help of the Bank of England. Now, one of the things that um, a bank that has a huge history in Switzerland, Julius Baer, has cut, um, is to cut 300 jobs as profits slump 37%. This is a huge thing. Julius Baer is one of the oldest banks in the world, and it's, it's one of the most respected banks, but its profits uh, fell by, a net profit fell by 37% last year, which is huge. Their chief exec says that he's, he's reducing the number of jobs using technology and reorganizing, particularly 
uh, outlying offices like the ones in the Bahamas, he said on Monday. Um, for those of you who don't realize that the Swiss banks are, have a major influence on the uh, European economy and the world economy because of their lending criteria and the security that they offer, plus the confidentiality in a lot of areas. So for that bank to be hit in such a big way, it just uh, shows that even the biggest banks are affected. Deutsche Bank's been on its back foot for a long while now. We knew that was in difficulty um, some months ago, but for this bank to go in this way really is worrying. Um, they've readdressed the profit forecast uh, by 10%, which is a massive amount. Anything else we need to do? Oh, yes. Um, it, it, strangely enough, banks and uh, fund managers are coming back and looking at cryptocurrency as a form of investment. And this particular example uh, comes from a statement about banks and the, uh, the um, investment fund managers coming back to have another bite at Bitcoin. The markets are closing up to Bitcoin again. The institutes such as banks and asset managers have long held a vexed relationship with cryptocurrency, put off by the uh, uh, reputation uh, of risk and the lack of regulation, the volatility of um, Bitcoin. But a spell of better performance is drawing them in deeper. Uh, it, one of the things that we've talked about often is that there is scope for uh, regulation on cryptocurrency and there's also scope for systems where there is banking protection and um, know your customer regulations implemented within an organisation. And I do think that it will attract the right sort of operation, will attract investment companies eventually. Anything else we need to know? Yes, I think um, I wanted to touch on this in particular. The, when we look at the change in uh, Bitcoin, the price has been so volatile over the last couple of years, but it started to come back a little bit. And it's, it's interesting, the, reg, the um, investment organisations within the banks and the fund managers, and Wall Street in particular is looking a lot closer at cryptocurrency in the form of Bitcoin. Who knows which cryptocurrency they'll look at next. Roger, brief, but that really is all I've got to say about, um, oh, one, more, one more thing I'll just mention. Um, we, we talked about Deutsche Bank and Deutsche Bank has published a report last month saying cryptocurrency has numerous advantages compared with traditional assets, which could lead to more people using them. The German bank went even further by saying that it plans uh, plans by the Chinese policymakers to launch a, dir a digital currency erode the dollar's primary uh, uh, primacy in the gold in the global financial markets. For specialist traders, cryptocurrency is rich hunting grounds, um, and, and and they think that uh, Deutsche Bank think that they'll see a, a huge growth within the banking world of digital currency in the form of crypto. So that's me for the day, Roger. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to everybody. No problem, Mike. Thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to say further on from what you were saying there, D Dubai is launching a crypto valley in the tax free zone. Um, no personal income or no, no personal or corporate um, income tax, which is going to be very, very interesting. So we're all moving to Dubai, guys. Off we go. Okay, um, right. We're going to pop down to Australia and say 